Yes, peeps, what is happening? And welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're on a track day. We're actually doing bits on the channel today. So, we're going to Blighton Park. We're going to pick up my boy Tom. And we're going to smash the Meg around the track. Um, so, hopefully, it's going to be a good day. Hopefully, we can tang it around the track. Our Tom's coming, so he's going to be an extra cameraman. So, we're going to have GoPros, we're going to have camera. So, hopefully, it's going to be a banger. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take you along for the day. Obviously, I'll tell you how much it costs. What, all that kind of stuff. So if you're new to this, bam, you, you're gonna be, you're gonna have the, the, all the information you're gonna need, basically. So yeah, let's go. Yes, Pete. So what's popping? I've just picked, pulled up to my pal's house. It's uh, 22 minutes past six. I said half six because it takes about two hours, three minutes to get there. Um, I, it's annoying, man. We're in Birmingham, and no tracks, man. Literally, you've got Kerberos Rink Course and you've got Donington. That's about it in a close distance. Everywhere else is a mission. Um, so, yeah, try, let's talk about money straight off the bat. So, the track day is like 179 quid. So, before you even think about anything, 179 pound, bam. Um, and then you've got to get your car ready. Um, things I would say if you're new to this, pads, fluid, like, make sure. I think they're probably the most pads fluid tires if your tires are low there's no point in risking it get some fresh rubber on there um because obviously it's about grip and braking and power don't come into it that much because you could have like a 200 brake civic and absolutely burn around so uh so far my engine oil was half on the dipstick so i want to do a service after so i know people are whinging saying oh you need to change all the oil and that but obviously it was yesterday so we got a litre of oil, 13 quid. My rear pads are really, really low. Um, so I've got some new pads off my pal. And then, yeah. Hello, pads. Well, you got a black bag with you? Oh, that's your my that's, bum bag. Oh, your bum bag. Let's go then. Right, so we're about an hour in. Uh, we're running ahead of schedule, so hopefully we can get there about 20 minutes early. Um, going for a Mackey's and a ship. Um, I don't know why, Mackey's literally ruins my stomach. But I need some food, so let's go. Services. So yeah, guys, I've had Mackey's breakfast. Um, we seem to have ate up the time. I was only in there for like five, ten minutes. And literally, it's like quarter to, it's quarter to eight, so... We need to get a move on because otherwise even if we leave now we're going to get there 10 minutes to spare and then we'll be straight on track nine o'clock seems too early to be starting man like, especially when you live miles away so yeah got another hour left on the motorway so hopefully get there sweet and sound and then uh check in and uh yeah do the business i thought i left my license and that home so remember you have to like check in 24 hours before online you know like an online briefing um and then you have to go there to get your wristbands and stuff but i'll show you all that anyway when we're there so uh let's go and hopefully it's a bad one right then so here we go we've just got here we've just signed on and that so we've got the band and everything we're gonna go out and do a couple of laps project eight another mcgann another mcgann over there so yeah let's uh, see what it's about let's get the go i'm gonna do my sorting laps and then i'll whack the gopro on and then we'll go from there so let's go
<laughs> yeah, man, that's too much that one. Let's go. Right, so as you as you heard earlier, uh, I kind of went on the uh, I kind of went on the uh, the bank a bit, which was naughty, quite naughty of me. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Woo. I'm a bit nervy to be fair. After that little sideshow bob skid.
my god, he's doing absolute mates, man. It's getting, it's getting hot, but yo, she's doing absolute mates. I've been having fun with that. That sea cat is lovely colour as well, man. Been uh, having a little play. <laughs> that fucking orange strip just yes on, on my last one i come too fast and went over there man actually it's quite a late turn in this corner as well yeah. which which tends to push if you're turning early it pushes you wide yeah. that's the problem i think i might have been too close to the tires and yes. i kind of yeah to... yeah you want to be sort of you I'm see not... you see where the board is yeah. you want to be sort of at the board before you're turning in and yeah. then you get a better exit you know yeah. but uh you... yeah don't hit it too hard because it has not the odd wheel off. Oh, I'm not surprised it didn't yeah. fucking smash my thumb. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he that close, was it? It went. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. I, well, I have seen the cake and pull yeah. the thumb ball on that. So. Why is it not just grass or gravel or something? Surely that's a nightmare, that is. For people. I know. I know it is. Um, but, oh, thank you. I'll put the lid on to the gas while the vodka. All right. You stirred it anti-clockwise, haven't you? Three times. Good yeah. man, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess they're going to modify it because they're going about building some new pit lane and everything. So I guess when they do that, they'll yeah. improve everything. Yeah, if it's not broke, they're going to change it all, I guess. Man, you're strictly speaking, it's not part of the circuit, you oh, know. Is it not? You're really not supposed to be on it. <laughs> I'll try not to. Yeah. to rock oh fuck sake black flag black flag because he's hit the gravel i bet his arsehole's gone man he just slid off track man mad
Yes, peeps, what's cracking? Uh, it's the end of the day now. I'm just about to go to bed, and I thought, you know what? I haven't finished up the video. So I just want to say thanks to the people that were at the track day today, man. It was immense, man. I did have a brilliant day. I'll be honest, I didn't think if you're watching this and thinking, oh, I might go blind park, definitely, definitely do it. Because thank you so much, babe. My missus bought this for my birthday. And I looked at the track and I thought, hmm, I wasn't, I wasn't overly like keen on it from watching youtube videos and i thought ah oh, looks a bit plain looks a bit boring and you know what after doing it it is an absolute sick track so obviously you can't judge the speed and all that kind of stuff on a youtube video so i know this might not look the best but i'm flying and i'm shitting myself so i'm absolutely chipping so if anyone does want to go blight and park i definitely recommend it i would say watch the massive potholes on the way in because they are it is crazy man honestly it's like pothole central it looks like someone dropped a bomb on the tarmac um but it is a wicked track um i did take a guy out yeah listen to this one a guy was in a porsche gt4 unbelievable man like obviously that's car goals man i would love something like that but obviously my kind of money and that is not happening um and i was talking to him well i got up his ass on the track and that and I blew past him. But anyway, that's another story. And I was sitting down talking to him. I was like, yo, I love your car, man. And he was like, oh, I love you, my guy. And I was like, you're more than welcome to have a blast in it. Like, I'll take anyone out. Like, that's what I'm about. Cars. Fucking love cars. So, if I ever get the opportunity to go out, so I'm in it. So, I said, you're more than welcome to go out in mine. I said, but you got to take me out in yours. And uh, his mate was like, yeah, sound. I won't go out. You can go out instead. So, I was like, sweet. I'll take you out in mine. You can take me out in yours. Um, so I took him out in mine, showed him what day it was, as you do. Lovely. Um, and then I heard him speaking to his mate. Um, and he said, oh, no, I'm not taking him out. And I was like, you know what? I love cars and like probably a Porsche, Porsche I'll probably never ever own. Or like an Aerial Atom or something like that. You know, you get them cars that are just like, man, that would be unbelievable just to experience. And I just think as a car person that... Well, for me anyway, if any of you lot are watching this and you see me one day on track and I've got, if one day I've absolutely made it and I've got a McLaren or a Porsche or a Ferrari or whatever, even if I've still got the McGann, you're more than welcome to jump in my car because that's what I do this for. I know I'm doing this video now and you're watching it, but if any of you are on the track day or whatever, you're more than welcome to experience what I've built or, you, do you know what I mean? I do this for people to experience it and stuff, so... I just thought, you know, you get the feeling where people got money feel like they're better than you. Like, I kind of felt like that today and it was a bit shit. But anyway, I smoked him on track, so it doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah, I just want to leave that there, really. I was a bit disappointed in that, but oh well. It's over and done with. We've got them again and I love it. So, yeah, I would like to try the United 2 M3. I think one of them would be mint, man. Like, the McGann doesn't run out of grip. It's literally crazy. Like, I'm just literally sidewards sliding and it just grip 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 like it's mental so yeah i'm gonna do like a little breakdown video i think of um like if you're new to track days or something like that, just do like an initial driving i'm gonna write down loads of things that i could think that would help people um so if you're new to track days i'm gonna do like costs things to check all kind of jazz like that um, and I think it'd be good for the beginner track day because obviously you guys said keep them again and do track day videos and here we go. So, uh, yeah. Sorry it's a long ending. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to get some different mounts because I wanted to put the GoPro on the cage and video lock the front. But, uh, yeah, the magnet thing fell off and that. So, it, we didn't end up doing that. But, uh, yeah. Um, car car handled perfectly. Overheated a little bit. I felt like it was getting hot quite quick. So, uh, I need to look into that. Maybe oil cooler. Change the oil. Someone said... Uh, is it Fox, uh, Titan Pro or some jazz like that? Um, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video anyway. Like, share, subscribe. If you got this far, drop a like, drop a sub. Um, tell your pals. We're, we're all in it together, man. All these car people and that. I am a true, true petrolhead. And that's what I love. So, yo, see you soon. Peace.